Cool, thank you. Okay, all right. Okay. Hey, so I'm doing a service call. I think the door switch was depressed. Yeah, the valve came up now. But I think the door switch was depressed. We know how to fix that, right? With the paper clip. What's the problem? Pay me. So I got choked out. So what happens is uh, somehow the air gets blocked underneath and the flame grows looking for oxygen. There's a little sensor behind here and it causes it to trip. It looks like Dicking with this wiring. Oh, yeah, well. So they probably broke it off when they were moving it and then put it back on here and pretended like everything was okay when it wasn't. I see that a lot. So, So this is a, a used water heater that I sold and they kept it in storage for a long time and then they probably moved it around and broke the switch you know broke the door switch here off and then panicked you know and put it back it kind of pops back in there I mean I don't, I don't know I don't know if that's good or bad but I'm gonna say it's bad Plus they wrapped all this wiring up. I, ne I never do this with the wiring. I always try and clean it up as much as I can, you know, kind of get it untangled. This was all like woven in together. And... So we need a door switch. I should start keeping door switches in here. Uh, okay, I'm back with the uh, with the switch. All right, off of Bradford White. It's a thermal sensor. Did a video on this uh, a couple videos back. So I don't know. Probably nothing wrong with this one, but I don't, don't want to screw around. Time is money. Money is also money. Okay. 
if you guys can see any of that. There we go. Just drilled a hole in the in the door. Void the warranty. You know, I like the senoritas. What just grabs you? To each their own. This is really difficult. Let's see if I can try to film some of this. Some of this shit show here. Okay, I really picked the wrong time to uh, stop wearing my glasses. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Mm, there we go. What is going on with this thing? Broke it. It's just I can't get an angle. I'll lay down in the dirt. I'll lay down in the dirt. Everything's in my way today. Today's just one of those days I barely slept last night, so everything's difficult. I got like three hours sleep, just too much coffee. And it's just been a day of everything being difficult. I'm, just, I'm slightly off. That's the problem. Definitely me. It's me and others. Other people. Right, let's see. See if it works. It's really kind of loose. It's really just for show anyway. Show and safety. Yeah, okay. Fired up. We got the, the broken switch. I can't find anymore. There it is. Hold on a second. Okay, broken switch. Switch used to go right here. This sucker's a little bit loose. Nice and tight. Nice tight shot. Nice and solid. Okay, everything's right in the world.
Anyway, it's an American uh, Pro Line. Looks like a 2011. If I had to guess, let's see what it is. Oh no, it's a 14, 2014. Oh no, I'm wrong. Sorry, it's an 07. Sucker's old. First two numbers of the serial number is 07. Oh no, I'm wrong. That's the model number. Oh, my glasses. It's a 14. So, 2014. Still going strong. 2023, I'm still going strong. Lots of service calls. Got the water heater to come on. It was just a broken switch. Uh, we, got, we got some really janky uh, gas line over there. I worked on this water heater before. There's another video um, where I came out and changed out a burner assembly. That's when they were building the block wall. Now the block wall's in. And... Um, the owner bought this water heater from me and he kept it in storage and then he actually returned that other water heater because it kept screwing up on him. So he took care of the warranty and, re and returned it and then he installed this one that he bought from me used. And then I guess it ran for a few days and then my guess is they probably broke the switch off while they were installing it. And then popped it back on and then it just had a loose connection so that's been replaced. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Consider uh, subscribing. Not that it matters, because I'll still keep pumping out videos, but I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers just because that's a goal. Um, I'm never going to make money on YouTube with these videos, but they help people out. So hopefully this video helps you out. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, if you ever pop the. Uh, if you ever trip the sensor, you can just push it in. So it'll pop out and push it in. So when I got here, the uh, the sensor was tripped and um, I pushed it in and it clicked. And so that's why it started up for me right away. So it's like a bypass. This is like a safety bypass thermal switch. So it's for safety. So too much heat in the combustion chamber. You got a runaway fire inside. Everything's getting hot this picks up the heat and then cuts the electrical signal back to the valve, turns the whole, shuts the whole thing down, right? Turns the whole water heater off. Anyway, uh, short and sweet video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Giant thing.